Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in our throne room. I don't, not sure if it is called the throne room. We are in our court though, and uh, we need to manage kingdom affairs. Because we are done managing uh, the local area, so let's r dive right in into building things, except for the temple. Uh, and, because... Uh, that's, I'm not sure how exactly that's going to go, but we'll figure it out. We need to click over there and enter. Right? <laughs> I think so. It's a little bit counterintuitive. It should be build, because that's what you're going to do. Uh, but uh, whatever. It's all good. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to build things. So let's go right ahead and do that. There's a view thing. Yeah, that's where we were already. It didn't... Was it selected? I suppose. So we have a bunch of locations. Are we really concerned about invasions for right now? Maybe peers. Let's see what these are. Probably start with trade. A tra trade focus. Yeah, mm, I'm not really sure. Depends because it adds community and things. So I said I wanted stats. I said I wanted... What did I say I wanted? <laughs> Certainly not stability. Espionage. That sounds good to me. Relations. Community... I suppose community... Military... Military at the very least, for sure. Uh, I remind you, I am uh, chaotic neutral, so we'll, we'll see what I can do over here. Uh, you know, just in focus, in terms of focuses and stuff. We have ranks. I Are those the ones that I can choose uh, people for, or uh, counselors for? I think it might be. Uh, and then we have, yeah, let's start with military. Let's see what we can do over there. We got barracks. We have uh, just adds plus one. So we have, what else? This adds a bunch. It's also pretty cheap. I don't know how long it takes to build, though. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't take. Maybe it doesn't take. Okay. Uh, what is that? It adds community. Why does it have a little arrow? Because it also adds economy. Now, economy is a good thing, I suppose. That would be, that would be a, an interesting thing. But why does it... It shouldn't be... No. The arrow over there. What is the arrow for? Oh, can be upgraded to marina. Requires a town, though. Uh, requires the status of town, I suppose, because we're right now we're a village. Okay, that's pretty cool. I have uh, a shop. So we probably should start with a piers and uh, with a smithy that has the economy. So probably a smithy, first and foremost. Uh, go right ahead and uh, make the smithy over yonder. Aha! Oh! Add. Wait, 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 what, what? Wait, oh, I can see that from here. Oh, you terrible teaser. Uh, we got a watchtower over here. It adds to espionage. That's not quite how that works. Uh, how that works. We have a wooden wall. Oh. That's pretty good. How does it work? Ah. I see. I see how that works. Upgrades provide additional... Economy over here for the smithy. So I need a town. What do I need to do to be a town? <laughs> for Gondolin, my capital, to be a town. I guess we'll figure it out? Eh, maybe we'll figure it out. So we got one smithy over there, but the problem is it is going to take time. And I think it first builds the smithy, and then it builds... Actually, that doesn't make sense. Because it says right there, the construction of the building will be finished in five days. The, uh, it doesn't say within five days. That would kind of hint at a more... It's sort of, you know, once it starts, it's within five days. But I don't... I can't comment too much on that. Uh, we got a shrine over here that's for divine. You know, but I got time for that. A shop. A shop is good. Right at the center of town? Sure. Everybody's very happy with that. That is seven days. So I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. Long house. That's for community divine. That oh, that's that's a pretty good investment. A lumber yard over here for maybe back there. I don't think it matters actually. You can put it anywhere. Can I right click? I can. Good. Uh, so long house probably required for discussions and things. It has loyalty with the upgrade. A granary, a dance hall, a brewery for relations. Cannot be upgraded, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, oh, my voice is dying today. So I should be aware as well that if I uh, want to upgrade things, 
I shouldn't really build things that cannot be upgraded. I am gonna build the barracks right here. Uh, those can be upgraded. <coughs> Do excuse me. Uh, and uh, lumber yard. Probably should go with that. Probably should focus a little bit on the economy side of things. So we have one shop that doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really matter which one it is. It's not like the shop is going to work better than the lumber yard. It doesn't say how long it takes to build over here, though. Uh, let's see. Let's also see. Yeah, you can't re uh, reorder these, which probably means that they will just be completed once, uh, once they are done. We got a tavern. We don't have a tavern. We do have a tavern. Let's make it over here. Right at the start of town, if we go over there. Which reminds me, I probably want the piers as well. Yeah, build all the things. Spend all that money. Let's not spend it all, though. Let's go down to 200. That should be plenty. Um, so I suppose that's because it's building. The game is very quiet right now. We can still hear the, the, the birds and all that. We got a watchtower. That can't be upgraded. We got a windmill. A windmill apparently increases communi community. Excuse the hiccup there. Man, it's just hoarse voice and and hiccups and just terrible things today. Herbalist, uh, that is... I mean, at least it can be upgraded. We got the dance hall over here. That's for culture and uh, loyalty. I guess we could go with a little bit of that. That is a little bit chaotic, right? I mean, if it's me dancing anyway. Uh, it does add a bunch of loyalty there, so that's good. Herbalist sounds... Eh, that's also good, I suppose. Yeah... Let's go for the for the dance hall, right there, and the lumber yard. Let's not be wimps. Let's make the lumber yard over there. We have a little bit more to afford. We can we can go for well. We could always go for more shops, I suppose. That's not necessarily a terrible idea. Extra smithies. Uh, yeah. If I want a lot of military, I need more. A building to house city guards, militia, and military forces plus one stability, one adjacent to a longhouse. I am very good at this. Fortunately, I have a save, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's absolutely... <laughs> let's absolutely do that, because, uh, why didn't I pay attention to that? Uh, this tutorial, sorry, tutorial, I always mispronounce that, um, is one that I, uh, that I read once I had figured out that, uh, the, um, the, the recording, the, the mythical recording that never aired uh, was corrupted. Um, so yeah, once I figured out that it, it was corrupted, I, uh, that, I was reading that tut tutorial, so I was, like, a little bit flustered, so I don't remember everything. Fortunately, you guys are awesome, and, uh, let me know a lot of things in the comments, so thank you very much for that. But, but there is a little bit of strategy here in, uh, in this wall thing, which is great. Uh, so we're gonna go with the pier first, and the wooden walls second. And the strategy, begin construction of a new building, add the outskirts to the barony. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that in a little bit. Uh, that's gonna take 15 days though, so we're, I want to have everything ready because I want to take advantage of, of the time it is gonna take us to do that. Actually, wait a minute, so if I close, um, I don't think it's gonna skip the time. So, if, no, 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 don't click there because there's no, there's no ask, there's no, there's no question there. So we have nobody for that. Absolutely nobody for that, good. That's not what I want either. I want to go into projects. And uh, I want to go... Is it project? No, it's regions. So, this does cost 150. So, yeah, it's good to save money. <laughs> Absolutely good to save money. Okay, so... Enter the building or build the... Ent any. It's good. And uh, let's see what we have. So, we got the longhouse. And the thing is barracks. So... Plus one stability, one adjacent or adjacent to a longhouse. Affects jail, reinforced wall, school, stone wall, and watchtower. The effects there, if it were me making this, it'd be the opposite. So, if I look at the... Uh, it'd be the opposite of the getting a bonus when next to a longhouse. So, if I look at the longhouse, it shows all the effects over there. So, you definitely want the longhouse in the middle. Because that is just good practice, I would assume. And you can always, you can you can uh, change their uh, place without losing. I just don't remember how it is, and it doesn't really matter for right now because I probably made bad choices. So the idea here is to have. Uh, so this one is the wall. So stone, sorry, stone wall. Stone wall. I mean, it's there. Where do you want me to? Uh, 
how how adjacent do you want me to make it? I mean, right? Anyway, um, so that's plus one when adjacent to a longhouse. But how does that... The adjacency over here is a little bit of a problem for me. Because does it work when, like, longhouse over here, is that adjacent? I mean, it's not... It's not quite, is it? Maybe I... Mm. Well, let's find out. So, if I make a longhouse in the middle, because that thing clearly affects a lot of stuff, what about the monuments? Oh, maybe what I need... I know what I need. Maybe what I need is just to sort of decide what kind of bonuses I need. So, plus one stability, that's not very chaotic, so maybe I don't want that as much. I mean, if I can get it, I will get it, don't worry. But it's not really my cup of tea. What do we have over here? Plus one economy when adjacent to a tavern. How about the military? A smithy gets plus one economy when adjacent to a shop. Only. So if I make the smithy right there. And the shop. Right here. And, uh, and now I know that you get plus one economy when adjacent to a tavern. I don't know if those stack. Can you make... Can you put two taverns right <laughs> side by side? Uh, so let's see, a tavern over here. Uh, let's see, plus one to relations when adjacent to a longhouse. So if I make the longhouse over there. Put the longhouse over here, and I can put the barracks right there. I keep thinking it's a log house, but it's, it's really not. Then that is a lot better situated in all the good things. Then we have a, a watchtower that adds plus one military when located in a settlement, in a settlement with barracks, plus one to stability when located in a settlement with walls. So that sounds lovely. I want that. P plus one military is always good, right? Yeah, it's good. So I, I, I want it probably over there. What about the lumber yard though? Plus one to relations when located in a settlement with peers. That sounds good. So if I put the watchtower up here, all the good things happen. I don't have enough money for anything else, and everything is good. Uh, we also have this one over here, plus one arcane, uh, and just plus loyalty normally. That needs a shrine, though. What is the shrine for? How does that work? It's just divine, isn't it? Yeah. That adds loyalty as well. Eh, sure. Maybe someday. Do I, does anybody else give me... Uh, I mean, again, I could put more of these. Um, anything else gives me military, which is what I want. Plus one relations, herbalist house granary for community, nobody cares where that is. We got a dance hall that nobody cares for either, but I probably will have it in a brewery that has plus loyalty and plus stability. So plus loyalty when located in a settlement with a windmill and plus one stability when located in a settlement with a tavern. So that is pretty decent, but I think we're out of money for the day. So uh, let's let that build and let's waste our time uh, doing things because it is going to be 15 days out the window and that's why I didn't do it. Uh, in the bust recording that I keep mentioning, I definitely did do that, and then I was like, oh, that wasn't good. Because uh, once you do this, is there is there an indication here? Choose an advisor to handle this advi uh, this event. Advisors will act accordingly. Oh, it's just, it doesn't matter. I'll bring Octavia, because she always strives to solve problems, you know, for the better of everybody. We're going to gain a little bit of community. Uh, this is our... Sure, let's start the claim and uh, look it up there you can't do anything about this can you pause no you can't pause you should be able to pause that'd be very good but well that's just that'll teach you save the game so yeah or be careful that some events actually force you to do the event yourself and skip all the time oh thank you this thing disappears in a little bit one of your barony stats has reached 20. it's time for you to increase its rank first meet with your advisor and discuss the future of the state to do so return to your capital and click the button on the appropriate event card in the throne room there's a an event card in the throne room Sure, whatever choice you make, remember your advisors made his... Shut up, I know what that is. After you talk to an advisor and make a decision, New Kingdom Project will become available that will increase a stat rank. You can find it at the bottom center of the... T yeah, I know. Thank you. It's good. Tutorial. Thank you very much. We have a lot of... Don't scare me. Yes! And also we're stable, which is good. On the count of how... Actually, it's not. I need chaos. Maybe. I don't... I mean, maybe it is good. Maybe it should read good rather than stable. I don't know how that works. Is that is that just a 
a, a, a qualitative state rather than a quantitative state? Just a matter of points or is it a matter of states? Anyway, uh, we got a lot of things here. We have uh, regions. Ooh, Esvanki's offer. Esvanki, High Priest. Oh, I'm doing that. Success, though. That's what it's telling me. The High Priest of Erasul from Restov has a strong interest. I know. First shrine in your capital will be uh, built free of charge. That's good news. Oh, he keeps giving me pop-ups. That's nice. And also, that probably means what it, you know, that's completed. Octavia's training. Uh, the intense training and expeditions into the wilderness improve your companion's proficiency. This increases your companion's level, making them suitable to join your party. Uh, you need to talk to one of your advisors to address important matters. I do realize this, thank you. Also, it is interesting that we went with Octavia to the north. We couldn't go with Trishan because he was training Octavia. Does it make sense? It does. Pillage of the Temple of the Elk. That sounds fantastic. Plunder of the Temple of the Elk in Rome. No, that's... Yeah, all valuables from the Temple uh, of the Elk have been moved to the Treasury. I should have read that when it was Octavia's training time. Uh, declare the outskirts as part of your kingdom. Your barony has expended. It now includes the outskirts. Thank you, Octavia. Oh. Th that doesn't go away? Maybe I... Uh, yeah, that's that's why I need to... Uh, maybe. No. That doesn't go away because it's over there. We got curses, but we can't do anything with this for right now. We will be able to do something with that in a little bit, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I have some training over here if I want to. I have agree trade agreements that I can't do anything with because I don't have trade advisors or economic advisors and everything else is good. Events, what do we have? Oh, oh. Proposal for cooperation. Three merchants from Absalom arrived in the region. They're ready to do business with the barony. If the... Do I have an advisor for this? Maybe. It will expire in Erastus, so we should probably hurry, because Erastus is like in five months' time. Uh, probably not. Probably it's next month. Next month. They're uh, ready to, business, to, do, to do business with the barony. Choose an advisor to handle this event. So it requires seven days to solve. There's a difficulty class of 15. I can also ignore it, which is interesting. Also, what is the difficulty class? How do that, well, does that work? Can I check... What is checked here? Does that mean that it's only 5% chance to miss this? Because I have a 14 stat on that, and then I have a 30% chance, or however much, to get uh, to lose the bonus? Maybe. Let's see what this one is. Hands of Gold. Rumor has it that an unknown self-taught master crafting items of extraordinary beauty and rare quality has appeared in the region. Such people are rare. With a dash, something should be done to entice her to stay. Fantastic. So this one probably takes priority. Uh, got a lot of people that are interested in that. I'm probably sending Amory in that way. Oh, well, maybe maybe it's very enticing. I mean, I would be very enticed with Amory shouting at me to stay and do your craft in our realm. Harim has a request. Harim seems to be worried and wants to discuss something. Yes, I. I that is actually the one. Thank you. Thank you. And I need also an advisor who wants to discuss an urgent matter that concerns the Barony's future. Uh... Can you tell me who that is? I could have clicked the, the X up there. I don't know who that is for that particular um, thing. Ooh, I, I've forgotten throughout this uh, episode to check. I'm, I'm trying out a new um, encoding setting. Uh, so I forgot to check if, if, the, if the encoder gets overloaded. Probably should have checked that. So if the game is stuttery every once in a while, especially under more movement... Uh, I do apologize for that. I will be checking that uh, in between this episode and the next. Uh, Trishan, thank you so much for joining me. Greetings, Baroness. I'm sorry to take you away from your uh, other affairs, but your people need you. When the Stolen Lands were freed from the Stag Lord, the people sighed in relief. But many are still confused by their swift change of fortune. Truth be told, they simply don't know what to think of their new baroness, nor what to expect of you. Will you be a fair ruler for all, or only for those of wealth and status? Why is it a binary option? Why can't I be a... only for those of without wealth and status? Status. Status. Or what the status even mean? Or wealth, for that matter, but, you know, let's... I, I'm assuming I know what it means, because it's pretty straightforward. Let us reassure your people. Show them where your favor truly rests. Perhaps a small celebration. Oh, that that's my kind of talk. Uh, would help to win them over. Of course, you could spend the same amount of on a luxurious dinner for the wealthiest. Oh, no, they can pay for their own steaks. Uh, of the wealthiest of your barony. But I recommend organizing a fair for the common people. The ones upon whose shoulders your power truly resides. 
Is it? I thought it resided upon our own shoulders because we were the ones doing the fighting. Oh, look at me! We're up just, it's all up there, sitting down. No, wait a minute. Is that? That is me. Yeah. Is it? I, sp I mean, I suppose so. Yeah. Uh, so we shall hold a fair for the common people. That sounds good. I want them to know. And also, it's going to give money to the economy, which is always nice. Or maybe it is, and depends on how much I spend on it. I have, Well, actually, fair doesn't mean... I, I, it probably doesn't mean, uh, you know, like, a, 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 you know, maybe maybe I, it's a little bit lost in translation for me. I associate the word fair with trade. <clears throat> Excuse me, with a market. Uh, which, of course, you know, it's, give, it's a nice thing. It's a, it's, it's a cool thing, especially in medieval times. But, um, but it might be more of a sort of one with jousting and with food, and then that is a different stuff altogether. Uh, we will hold a luxurious dinner party for the merchants. The support of our wealthiest citizens is essential. Is it? Is it? I don't need th I don't need their support. I can rob them. I have done I've been doing that already. Last episode and a couple of episodes ago. It's all fine. I don't care to arrange anything. Nah, that's that's keeping the opportunity to make up your own mind. I don't care what we pander who we pander to. Whom we pander to. Also without the dash, that's my line, so I'm not gonna talk this rubbish. Uh, I'm gonna go with the first one, of course. That adds community and culture. That's nice, I suppose. I wonder what the other one added. Uh, we will hold a common a common celebration, says Trishan, where everyone would be, will be welcome, including the poor and downtrodden. This is the greatest gift a ruler can give to our people. No, there's other things. There's other gifts. And I get to get achievements for, achievements for days. I'm, I'm happy with achievements. Hi, Arim. How's it going? Harim looks embarrassed. He runs his fingers through his beard and clears his throat a few times and speaks at, at last. I heard. Not that it's important, but, well, he clears his throat again. <clears throat> that was more for me than for him. I heard that an ancient trade road built by the dwarves of the Five King, King's Mountains run... That's two plurals. It kind of stutters me a little bit, runs through these lands. I don't know what happened to them or where they went. Unforgiving time spares no one, but the road itself is still here, and possibly not only the road. Ah, uh, well, Giladel, I have a request. If you find any dwarven ruins in the area, i like you to see them with- uh, i like to see them with my own eyes. Uh, of course, Arim. If I find any dwarven ruins, I'll take you to them. I hope. He's in my party, isn't he? Yeah, he's still in my party. Yeah, thank you, Giladel. I will. Um, thank you. Of course. More achievements. Wait a minute. That should be two out of a hundred. It's probably his companion quest. And Jod, your grace. I was at Oleg's trading post recently and noticed old Bokken standing there, bored to death with nothing to do. This is most unfortunate. After all, the old grumbler is very knowledgeable. He's a very knowledgeable alchemist. However, he has no use for his skill, since the locals need nothing more than the simplest of healing potions. Well, then he has some use for his skill, doesn't he? And then it struck me, says Jod, why don't you hire him as your court alchemist? His decoctions and tinctures would certainly prove more most useful to you also it might be cheaper than simply buying from him or some other merchant oh, i don't buy that stuff but it is true so i need to go up there probably to talk to him and be like hey so do you want to talk to me and stuff so john kavkin came up with a brilliant idea he has indeed and let's talk to balkan we shall do this uh also i probably can test my encoding right i do apologize this is where this is how it stresses the CPU the most. Not actually the most. For, first person shooters do do it the most. Uh, hello, did I talk to you? Yes, I did. I wonder if that line that I'm not choosing because it's cheesy and commonplace is the line that I need to convince him that I'm uh, that I uh, to convince him to um, you know to be my arc arcanist or whatever. Or maybe it's just after we do quests for him or something. I don't I don't know. I haven't looked too much into that. I don't want to spoil it for myself. And also, I, I mean, I'm playing this on hard. No, I'm not. I'm playing this on normal. Yeah, I'm playing this on normal. It's going to be easy. It's not a problem. We're not going to die. It's not going to be game over. It's all fine. And actually, by the time you're watching this, if you're watching this many d weeks after the video goes up, you might even know for a fact that this Let's Play is complete. Because I complete all my Let's Plays. So, yeah. Unless something happened to me. Both in game, or either in game or in real life, I suppose. So I came in here because uh, I wanted to check if this changes. It doesn't look like it does. 
That's quite unfortunate. Is Trishan over here? Ah, let's have a chat with him. Hey, Trishan. Uh, well, there it is. Well, that's uh, it's as simple as it gets. Town doesn't change. Well, they, no, the, all the buildings are complete. This should really change. I wonder if that's uh, that's something they plan to do at some point, and just don't. I don't really see why that would be. Well, it's, it, it all has to do with the engine, and this engine I think is based on the Pillars of Eternity engine. I, I, at least I think they got uh, help from Obsidian. Uh, I'm not sure though. Might be wrong on that. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's go back back to managing our kingdom. I will not I will not be going on big adventures yet. I will be spending my money and I will also be checking those trade things and all that. Start the rank up project. The advisor and the baroness will spend oh that's bad news. Will spend 14 days on a special project to increase the rank of a respective stat. You can find one such project. That's that's these ranks over here probably allows me to con uh, just hire the people. You can find one such project under the project's lab. Assign an advisor. Thank you. You're very kind. Counselor awaits in the throne room. No, he doesn't. No, that's a success. The, yeah, got plus one loyalty. And uh, the visitor has uh, met with the Baroness. Harim, that's not a visitor. Didn't get me any things, but good. Hands of gold and that, so these are pretty good. We're still at 32. That kind of worries me. Let's, uh, oh my god, WSD is so slow up here. There's no cities up here. Outskirts. Region improvements are not yet available. Okay, that's good with me. And if I click over here, ooh, oh, that's right. If I click on the Shrike, I can go directly to Tusdale, and we can see the buildings over here. Do I not have taxes on them? Is that the reason why? Is that the reason why I'm not getting more money out of this? Or maybe the money was already calculating the, I don't know, stats. Everything is built, so. Oh wait a minute! I'm an idiot. It does. It's not because of money. It's because of these things that I get. Oh, or I suppose no. These things are just for stats. They're not actually for money, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, so we have a little bit more to spend, which is always good. Uh, I probably should have checked, you know, in, in that 14 months, unless what events, problems to solve, the opportunities to s what. Problems to solve and opportunities to seize occur from time to time in your domain. These events may increase or decrease your barony's stats. Don't forget to look them up. Thank you. Uh, all current events are listed at the bottom of the screen. Thank you very much. Uh, difficulty rules. That's important. Every event has a difficulty level. To resolve the event successfully, the advisor must roll a number higher than the difficulty level of the event. That's how these seize work. The advisor's post ability is added. Advisor's post ability is added to the dice roll, which is great. The barony stat. Uh, the adv what the barony stat the advisor is responsible for adds two points per rank to every roll, so that's plus two. That's actually doubled. It, it, so what, this, this two sentences the same to say basically this one sort of contradicts this one doesn't really, but yeah, basically it's uh, times two, as far as I can understand. But there's an example over here. Uh, Valerie has a regent. Uh, with a population stat and a plus two for her high charisma. The population st stat rank is one. So it gives another plus two. Wait a minute, that's a different thing. The barony stat. That's oh, I see. Ah, that's pretty cool. If Valerie puts in, uh, is put in charge of the event, her dice roll would have an overall bonus of plus four. Thank you. That's very cool. Uh, that's really cool. So I was more or less right. Although this is the rank over here, not the value, the rank. So it can be kind of nasty. Let's see. This is the one that's gonna take forever. Spend two weeks resolving the law. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, so that is what I wanted to check on. Let's go into projects over here. Actually, I like the all the sorting things, and we got the trade agreements, and we got the training, and the curses that I definitely need to look into. Uh, who's going to be that? That's going to be Jod. Need to remember that. Did he gain one extra? Maybe. Maybe that's what it gave. It gave, not just for me, but for him. Or not even for me at all. Let's see. So we got all the advisors over here. Still don't have that one. That's not new, so we got the 14 days of things. So that is pretty... Oh, didn't mean to do this. Aw. Yeah, so that's pretty straightforward in regards to the time. I will go up to... Uh, up north. 
Uh, I will go there first. I also wonder how I leave to the world. Hmm. That's something, uh, it's probably need to go to the map and all that. So I'll go in here because I'll build more things. We have the money for that and uh, I might go with another uh, another barracks. We'll see what we can do. Because, or upgrades, but the, the thing is, this is all, the, I mean, the upgrades are, yeah. So I, I kind of want an herbalist's house for loyalty. I suppose, I don't really need want raw loyalty, that sounds unchaotic to me. This adds loyalty and stability, that's just the opposite. I guess that's where you're gonna need, oh, wait a minute, oh, the free shrine, that's right. Thank you, uh, must not forget about this. So this is plus one to divine when adjacent or adjacent to a monument and plus one to loyalty when adjacent to a longhouse. Fortunately, the longhouse is over there, so if I put a monument over here, I get that bonus. And also there's another thing that is affected by this. Um, just a thing, okay. So I get the shrine, I get the monument. So that's that. It's basically the only thing I can do. Uh, there's something that is affected by this. We got an alchemist's laboratory, an alchemist's house. Uh, well, he's gonna sleep in his laboratory. Uh, a magic shop, Nephi's library, and a school. I don't have those available. Maybe because I don't have people to work. That's what they said, right? Yeah, they said things. Uh, so, the alchemists, it's this one. Uh, so this is specifically about uh, a shrine. Right? Yeah, so I put the shrine over there. One adjacent to a monument. No, wait a minute. Dang it. It's not it's not fitting well. Hmm. So I got a plus one uh one adjacent to a monument, a plus one divine, and a plus one loyalty one adjacent to a longhouse. The thing is this guy gets a plus one arcane when adjacent to a shrine. So I need to put it right there. Not the monument. But also the monument. What does that add? Plus one to arcane. Nah, I don't need arcane. So I don't I actually don't need you. I can move it. So if I How do I do that? I think it's like sell and hold. Or something like that. Hmm. Because my idea... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, well, actually, that's not too big of a deal. My idea was to have the monument... You know, I can't, I can't fit that. I would need to bring these guys around. So I'll go with that. And I'll also go with the barracks. That thing needs to be next to a longhouse. Dang it. <laughs> uh, so that would be over there. So that gives us plus one loyalty when adjacent to a longhouse. Mm hmm. Well, no military, uh, no, um, no barracks. That adds stability. Well, I could go with the barracks, of course. Uh, or I could add the lumber yard, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Or a mill. Because this is. I need a granary and a brewery. Oh, a brewery might be a good thing. Plus one loyalty when located only the windmill, plus one stability when located next to a staff. So yeah, we got a tavern over there, we got a brewery. That sounds good to me. Yeah, good stuff. And now, of course, it's gonna take a long while, but that's fine, because we have plenty of long whiles. We can go back into the map and uh, figure out how to assign all of my all of my friends to, uh, to do their thing. I wonder if I can go into the wilderness uh, you know, with 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 them doing stuff. Uh, that's the one that takes forever. This is the ones that I need. So we have the trade agreement with Surtova over here. Now, the, do I need to kill Surtova? Because that sounds like a thing I might want to do. I do need Natala Surtova. This is well, let's say so as long as it's not Natala, I'll be okay. Our merchant will receive the right to establish a sizable trading post in the heart of New Steven, Steven each city. Sertova would be just a family, I suppose. Each CD in the barony uh, gains a plus one extra five BP per uh, barony point per week, plus two for, uh, for each town and plus one for each village. So that's pretty good. It does require forever and it does cost a bunch of money. So I should have not even considered that. Uh, this is the agreement with the... Oh. 
What do you mean? Is this different? Or did I just not think about it? Uh, did I read it? Yeah. Has offered a 500 BP in financial assistance in exchange for your promise to work exclusively with Restov's Builders Guild. It's gen a generous offer, but who knows what consequences this would have for the barony. 500 is okay. And that's for the Lord Mayor of Restov. He's a nice fella. Also, oh, I can't do that. That's why it's there. That is why it's there. Why do I not pay attention? What was I thinking of? What was the one... I swear that some, some new ones sh showed up. Hmm. Interesting. So I got the rank up. We'll take care of that. We got the economy, which is the things we can't do. We got the trainings, which we don't want. We got this one, which is going to take forever. That's going to be jawed. And uh, start the project. Costs a little bit of money, but not a problem. And then we have the regions, which doesn't matter for anything. We got all of this, and everything is good. So, let's go to the north. Let's uh, talk to... I, I want to talk to... Um, I don't remember. Uh, Oddleaf, that's right. No, not Oddleaf. Back, uh, Hakon. Hakon? Bacon. That's the one. I don't remember the name exactly. So now we need to leave through... I suppose it's through here, because I can't really... Yeah, I can't very well just do this. It's quite far away. Well, we're out of time for the day, so... Oh, yes, this. Uh, so I suppose we can uh, take care of that next episode. I'll actually make my way there to the northeast. Uh, so an, an episode of Managing the Kingdom, I thought, I think that's good. I think that promises a lot, and it promises to bite me in the butt once I uh, realize how badly I, how bad I am at managing kingdoms in general. Because, I, I mean, I do like this sort of game, and I like the sort of games that actually focus on that. Like, for example, I know one for, uh, 1404 is one of my favorite uh, of that sort of game. Um, but, uh, but, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm the best, or good. Uh, so, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead, leave a comment, like the video, if you want to see the next episode come out sooner, rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.